All right. Hello, everybody. I'm here with Ocean, a popular London-based uh, producer, music producer in the drill and trap and hip-hop space, um, focused on a lot of different course creation methods from uh, our collaboration. Uh, we've worked together for the last year or so and been friends for a long time. So, uh, yeah, what's up, Ocean? How are you doing? I'm good, man. How you been? Yeah, I've been super well. Um, I wanted to just ask you a couple of different questions about kind of our collaboration, as you know, you've been kind of really just blowing up in the scene in the last several years here. And um, we had this operation, uh, op opportunity to work together uh, last year about kind of launching your first course and, you know, creating all those things that you needed in place in terms of the sales funnels and stuff. And, you know, you're a marketing guy yourself, you know the background, so it's pretty easy to work with you as well. Plus, we just have kind of a natural co collaboration here. <clears throat> um, I wanted to ask just first off, like, what stood out to you, you know, working with us during our process, you know, anything that we had in terms of the warm-up phases or the background research stuff, and then just getting that um, offer out into the world? To be honest, it was quite hands-off on my side. All I needed to do was just do a bit of customer research, handed the survey to my customers or my audience that you gave me the list for, and then they answered it, gave it back to you, and you pretty much did your thing kind of quickly. Mm -hmm. so it was quite simple, quite easy. Yeah, perfect. That's uh, try to make it really easy for our, our clients and make sure that, you know, everything is seamless because, you know, we want to handle the process from the front end and just really make uh, kind of the, make a potent uh, research grab at the beginning so we know exactly who we're tar uh, targeting and talking to, obviously. So um, could you go over a few of the, like, end results that you saw working together? I know that we were working on a bunch of various different kind of funnels. Obviously, we helped launch your main course. Um, we ran that offer for a while. We had a lot of various deliverables there and kind of that guidance through the whole process. Could you uh, explain about like, you know, what was your experience just um, with the results, you know, the end results, what worked together and like what worked, what didn't, you know, what, what, what that whole flow of collaboration kind of looked like? Yeah, so I launched my course. It was a music production course teaching beginners how to make beats on Black Friday, November 2021. It had been a while since I launched a big product to my audience. I think this might have been the most expensive product I've ever offered to my audience. So I wasn't really sure how they were going to take it. I wasn't sure. Aside from asking them and surveying them, I never really had like an indication of what to expect or how it would go. Well, mm -hmm. we put it out on Black Friday and I ran my first launch, which was just, just a quick launch, um, Black Friday, then the weekend and we ended on Cyber Monday. So I think that's about four days of it being available. And I'd say that I did really well on the first day it was, of course, the majority of sales. Then it trickled in right. over the weekend. And then by Monday, because people know that's the last time to get it, that was when a bunch more sales come in. I think mm -hmm. we did all together about, I want to say around 20K. I can't remember exactly the number, but it was around 20K. And I think mm -hmm. it was either 200 sales or 100 sales at a higher price point. I really can't remember because it's been so long right. ago. But yeah, I think we, we, we did really well with that. And then after it was available, I decided to take it down for a while just to give the first cohort my maximum attention and see how it went. And then mm -hmm. after maybe about three months, I launched it again. Or oh, sorry, two months, and I launched it again in January, more as like an evergreen kind of thing. Right. And yeah, it's been, it, it did well when it was available. It did really well. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, I know you were only running that offer for, you know, a year or something like that. And then we actually did some follow up on that in terms of the back end for like emails and kind of segmenting and stuff. And like you said, obviously, we had oh. kind of a window open. You know, we like to do sort of a launch window when it's a new product and, you know, it's kind of create that urgency and scarcity. But, you know, I would say, yeah, 20K or roughly around there in the first week is not, you know, not a bad first start. And then obviously you have that kind of offer that you want to run or, you know, morph it into something else into the future. And so um, that's really what can happen when all the, you know, ducks are in the row, in the right row. So, um, yeah, thanks for sharing that. Um, so, yeah, let's say like we back up, you know, rewind maybe a year, year and a half ago. Like what were some of the doubts that you might have had, you know, before that, you know, where you're not sure of, you know, what the outcomes might be or the ROI might be or whatnot. And then it made you almost not pull the trigger. And then you decided that, yeah, OK, this, let's do this. Well, in my niche, because I also do YouTube as well, I hadn't really seen a ton of people do do a course basically for beginners. Mm -hmm. So. There was no re there wasn't really like a big indication of what the outcome could be like. I was kind of stepping into like new waters, if you want to say. Yeah. There was only one other person that 
that did do something like that. But then again, it, it was his audience is slightly different to mine. And so I wasn't sure if I wanted to release a course. I, I, I was kind of happy just selling the products I already had to offer. But then really thinking about it and seeing the direction I wanted to take my channel at the time. I used to do heavy on tutorials for teaching people how to make beats anyway. I wanted to take a bit of a pivot and do more like entertainment style videos and really switch up the content because at the time I felt it was getting stale. So mm -hmm. that's when I was like, okay, if I am going to pivot, I still want to be able to pass on my knowledge to other people and packaging it in a course where people didn't have to go through YouTube and find individual videos kind of made sense. And people started to ask for it once I started to mention it a bit more. So yeah, it, it kind of seemed like the, the natural step to take. Yeah, for sure. So you're kind of uncertain about like whether there was the market demand because other people hadn't really proven that by having a similar competing yeah. course. And we both know, obviously, some competition is good because it proves that somebody's selling something to your market. And so, um, yeah, if, if, if you're looking back on it um, in terms of like, let's say someone else is wanting to sign up, you know, someone else is interested in the stuff, but they're also having similar doubts or concerns or they're not sure exactly what, you know, whether it's this niche or a different niche in info marketing, like, what would you tell someone who's might, who might slightly still be on the fence about getting a sort of transformation like this? That's a good question. Um, I think for the most part, if you have specific knowledge and you have people asking you about your specific knowledge, it could be in anything, it could be in, in something super, super niche, I think you have something to offer. So, and if you can package it in a way which can take someone from a starting point to an end result that they desire, then you have something worth offering, I think. Yeah. I no think doubt. for me as well, yeah. like, if I, if I think back about it, I can take a beginner music producer to someone who makes really good beats. And that was like a desired thing. So, it, yeah, it did make sense. And I think if you have that too, it'll make sense for you. Right. Yeah, I think a lot of people are kind of on the fence and not sure, well, you know, if their expertise is good enough or they have imposter syndrome or something like that, or they just think it's overwhelming to obviously launch the whole infrastructure around that. Maybe it's their first offer, a course, membership site, whatever. Or they have an audience like you had, but didn't have like the product in terms of information products, uh, marketing, you know, obviously you had your tutorials and you had a, a lot of great content and a big audience. Um, you know, I think you got over like 450K subs on YouTube now, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, I think in general, people are looking to kind of funnel that in and they don't know exactly how to. So, um, it's definitely good advice. Um, last question here. So like, could you speak a little bit past the end results? Obviously we shared what, what we got there, um, together. So like in terms of the process, the back and forth, you know, the strategy, um, the research, you know, whatever the, uh, implementation of the copy, where to put each piece, when and stuff like that. Like, can you speak a little bit to that back and forth of how that looked like when we were collaborating for the process? So um, we started with some customer research, but it wasn't your typical customer research. It was quite in-depth, really analysing exactly who is the person that we're targeting, down to like the name and the age. So we had like a few different avatars. We had like the young guy who was mm -hmm. a student in school to the older guy who has a family, who has a full-time job, but does this as a hobby. And we really went in, find out like their desires, their thoughts, these kind of things, what they consume. And once we got enough information and really dug, not, not even just the questions, but also looking into other things like other content that they might consume and seeing what the language is there, how they mm -hmm. communicate and what that kind of stuff is. Right. We took all of that. I, I sent it over to you, basically. And you started to construct the sales copy around that, using all that kind of stuff, but also incorporating my course and what I'm teaching kind of like step by step as well and then I don't even think it took that long you kind of just sent it back to me it was it was perfect and I, you know, I sent it to the developer to whack on the site that was it really yep yeah sweet man cool thanks for sharing Ocean um do you have any other thoughts about you know any of the results or the collaboration or anything that you you know want to share in terms of uh I don't know, anything miscellaneous as we wrap up yeah man the process was smooth I cannot complain nice and easy to work with Evan's definitely mm -hmm. the guy for this. Cool.
Thanks, brother. All right. Well, it was great talking to you, Ocean, and catching up with you. Um, yeah, guys, that's kind of what we do. This is our main, uh, main full-time thing. So obviously, if you have some type of similar need, similar audience, whatever, even in a different niche, and you want to you know, really ramp up your information products, this is what we're doing full-time. We have a full system for this, and we have proven track records and results with similar clients to, as to Ocean. And uh, we're really just building this entire you know, repertoire out and, sell, and, uh, and sh you know, sharing the kind of process that goes along with that. So uh, thanks for sharing everything. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. And uh, yeah, if you need something like this, just get in touch and we'll be in touch soon. So thanks for everything. Bye-bye.